What's up, YouTube? It's called E4Man221, and we are doing a live commentary battle for Napoleon Total War. Oh, that was brutal. Okay. So, the basic plan is to have my beautiful artillery positioned on this hill to mess up the Prussian artillery. He's only got 212 pounder. But artillery. And look at this chaos. There goes a guy flying. That was brutal. Landed right there. So my skirmishers are going to take positions in the buildings. And then I'm going to bring my, my musketeer based army off the hill. And this is the poor first fallen soldier. Actually, these guys are getting shot up too. So I have the artillery advantage, clearly, in this fight. I've already taken out one of his guns. Hmm. We have taken the buildings up! So we're kind of fortifying the town area now. Got plenty of skirmishers all in this building, right? Uh, they're actually already taking some shots. So I don't think his artillery is going to be that much of a nuisance. Okay, now he's going to start to occupy the buildings. So these three musketeers are going to man the right wing over here, and these four are going to be behind this building ready to support. I've also got my cavalry and my artillery just started targeting these troops here. I think we're going to go... My goal now is This to building has fallen to the enemy! I'm not sure if he's going to cross, I'm just going to line up one unit of musketeers over there. And I'm going to move my general. Oh. I'm not going to have another Egyptian campaign thing here. I'm going to get my men out of the burning house. However, I hope to destroy his buildings. Oh, yep, they're coming across, what I tell you. didn't have my troops in position. That was a very smart move of Brian. I would just like to make sure everyone knows this is not Brian. B.A. Jones this is a different Brian. So our musketeers are now going to start opening fire on these grenadiers that have crossed onto no man's land. Now I'm going to line up my skirmish runs here. <laughs> He said, do you really have to pick this map? Okay. Uh, at first I was like, no artillery. And then look at this, we're just... We're just pounding the crud out of his 12 pounders. Oh, he actually has 12 pounders over there. So these guys cross into no man's land and are getting shot pretty hardcore. And they can't take it. Oh, I think I crushed that building too. Let's see. He does have... Oh, do you see this? These foot guards. What he doesn't understand is that these foot guards can destroy. Because look at my, let's go my stats really quickly. We only have... 35% accuracy. These guys are like 50 something. But if they're bottlenecks. So he should, um. He's in kind of a predicament because he's losing the artillery battle. He brought all grenadiers and foot guards. This is an interesting Prussian army. I don't know. I might have to. Uh, so far, the campaign is going to be a Prussian one, as far as I know right now. So I'm just going to destroy this farm. He is trying to catch all my skirmishers. I'm gonna get my three skirmishers out of there. 
Because he's targeting my buildings that my guys are in. Which isn't very nice. I'm going to silence his artillery once and for all. So I'm going to... Oh, look at that 94. Get out of there, guys. Get out of there. My skirmishing component is a big advantage I have right now. And if this building goes, I'm in deep trouble. There it went. Run, 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 run. I feel bad for these men that are inside. What are you doing? You're, you're burning to death in there. Okay. More and more of my troops are pouring out. So... The house is 100% destroyed, but it hasn't collapsed yet, so... Oh! Ivan, no! <laughs> Woo! That was a close one. So I'm going to do the cowardly thing right now. We're just going to... Look at this. His general only has four guys. So we're all just going to target his general. That's what he looks like. Uh, Gerhard von Blücher. Okay, where's my cow? Yeah, this, this is a good idea to put his artillery on the ridge, but his troops are just getting slaughtered. What he needs to do is he needs to just do a coordinated attack. And not give up his men like this. I'm actually going to not sit on my butt. I want to make this live commentary interesting. So you have an advantage. So what do you do? You try to give your opponent a little bit more of an advantage too. to get these guys outside because all it would be is bottlenecking him up and that's not very fun to watch we can't cross this river can we Halt, what are you idiots doing? It's not like we need to move these or anything. My artillery's dumb. Um, why would you walk away? What if they want to relimber that? Someone's about to press shift F or something and that does that. No, you idiot cavalryman. Well, as you can see, these guys aren't the best. Mentally, they're not the smartest. You know what, I'm sure my artillery... Our men are running, sir! Yeah. Okay, we're gonna be able to start to outflank him here. These, this is a good position for the Jaegers. Normally in city fights or something, I generally always tend to lose. Because I'm like, oh, these are my cowardly troops. He's got all these foot guards waiting here, and I got rid of his general. He didn't die, but we got rid of him. So now I'm going to focus all my fire right there. This looks like this building's been destroyed, that building's been destroyed, this building's on fire. Very epic. 
And my my guys are like, we're gonna win so hardcore that they're just walking. I remember I played my very first Napoleon Total War battle on this side. This guy from France. He was a pro. We keep hitting the building. Look at this guy in the middle. You shall never take me alive. Mm. Oh. He's firing canister shot or grape shot into our guys, whatever you want to call it. And this is why people ban unicorns. They are very, very effective. They're like howitzers. They're very, very sick. Okay, it would be nice, you know, if my musketeers could actually, like, um, I don't know, kill the artillery. Jaeger means hunter in German, and apparently the Russians also. Uh, apparently the Russians also. Hmm. I like how they give you a little history of them. Okay, come on, you losers. How many bullets are you shooting into these guys? Now that the building's gone, his guys in the square are gonna be in trouble. Let's go on these guys. Note to self, do not charge these guys from the front. Our men are running, sir! Yep. Russians are famous for their great morale. Hmm. Now, it would be manly to cross that bridge, right? But it would also be suicide because my troops are absolutely no match for his troops. Okay, there go those guys. I'm gonna send my Jaegers over this way. Yeah, this square is being kind of destroyed. You wanna know why all my guys have 14 out of 18 or whatever? It's because all their their four guys that are over there. Or John, I guess you could fight this either way, like, especially on larger things is a lot harder. Oh, that grape shot's killing us. Our men are running, sir. Okay. I'm just gonna bayonet charge this and hope for the best. Run, Herr General. Okay, let's hope we... I'm sure we can get a bayonet charge with them. These guys are dead. And he also upgraded them, these guys, on chevrons. Ooh, if we get grape shotted here, we are in trouble. Oh, crud. Incoming! Oh, do you see any of the guys? Do you see any guys that just killed? Our men are running! Oh my god, you idiots! It's okay, my Moscow Musketeers are here. I'm trying to rally these troops. Okay, if you guys won't come, I'm sure my general wants to fight ya. All troops aim for the foot guards. Sir! Sir! 
Our general is under Whoa. attack. Whoa. They just missed all their grape shot. Okay. Now, we're going to go attack this artillery just to get rid of them. Okay. Time to cross the bridges. This is going to be bloody and I may lose a lot of soldiers, but has to be done. All of that is from Grape Shot, and so is all of that. And this is interesting. Foot Guards versus Moscow Musketeers. Who shall we target next? I think all the artillery is going to go. He's targeting his artillery on my general. That's not cool. Okay. So we're chewing up these foot guards pretty well. Pretty decently. My guys have stormed across the bank right now. And we're I'm going to see. We just took out 40, 40 musketeers in that one volley. We got these guys pretty heavily outflanked. So these guys aren't going to last long. Hey, look. The deserters came back. They should be shot. Okay, let's just move these guys up. Sometimes when you've only got 60 guys and they all line up in one line, you actually have more firepower than if you had 120 guys lined up. Because it's just to make sure... Ooh, that guy just died. We just lost a guy. And make sure that all of them can fire. Because we're going to reload. Here's our common... Here's our leader of our musketeer battalion. Look at this, this whole unit's been chewed up just by artillery. We are definitely going to see how many... Definitely going to see how many kills those guys got by artillery. Because that was just ridiculous. Now he's making a mistake by putting his guys in the square. Because I do not have any cavalry, it does limit your firepower. I feel like my sound's not working. Uh, one second. Sound. Hmm. That's weird. No, it's there. I'm just not hearing the muskets. These guys look pretty cool. For Russia! Now, and now that I got all my guys here. Now that I got all my Russian Jaegers here. These foot guard have routed. Okay. This is for the glory of Russia. The Russians didn't all... Okay, we're just going to make all these guys turn into these artillery. The Russians didn't always have the best quality. They had quantity over quality in World War II and their tanks and stuff. So this is an example of quantity over quality because my musketeers are not the best musketeers because they only have 35% accuracy and the average is 40. And those other... Those 5%, those 5 more bullets that hit can actually make a big difference. Yeah, Russian musketeers aren't the best. But when you're completely like surrounded like this by her numbers, yeah, it's brutal. Cool. You know, my general wants a piece of this. I'm 
man, these musketeers are tough. Look at all these direct hits on their cannons. There's so many guys who are just beating these guys down mercilessly. 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 Yeah. Can't even talk. My general. Oh, that's a win. It's a live commentary win. This is the carnage. Close victory. Okay. What? My unicorns only at 54, 47, 18, 13. Okay. Well, they did their trick combined. I'm just going to say good game. And this is calling from NT21 Sign. I hope you enjoyed.